boat, you need to set the boat up. And first thing you're gonna do is undo the oar lock and then make sure your oar lock is pointed in the right direction. If it's pointed towards the bow, you're gonna have a lot of trouble. So turn it around to the stern. And then you wanna make sure you get the right oar. So usually the oars are marked, the green for starboard, red for port. The red oar is always going to go in your right hand, red right return. So therefore the green oar in the left hand. And I'm going to put the oar in the oar lock, close the oar lock, closey to the toesy. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then process of elimination, the other oar goes to the other side. In a wider boat, this can sometimes be a little bit difficult to reach all the way out there. So if you put your knee right close to the edge, stretch your one leg back, and then whichever hand, whichever leg is reaching back, reach across with the opposite arm. This way you have a little bit more balance. Again, point the oar lock towards the stern, put the oar in, close the oar lock, nice and snug. You don't want to get the oars across until you're ready to get in. Now I'm ready to get in. I'm going to put both oars all the way out in the oar lock. I'm going to move the seat back out of the way. Hold on to both oars with one hand. And as I step in, I want to keep my weight towards the dock so that the boat can balance on the dock if necessary. And it's quite easy to balance here. If I don't push down, but I keep the blades on the water and on the dock, I can hold on to the oar and I can balance with my right foot, right hand, left hand. And then when I'm ready to get in, I just bring this foot right on through, put my weight on the hand on the dock, settle into the boat. You're in, make sure you're comfortable, make sure you're seated squarely on the seat, you're not off to one side. And then to get off the dock, just want to walk yourself down off the end, lean a little bit away to put the weight out on the far oar, and you're in. Before you go, you want to make sure that you've got the foot stretcher in the right position. So the way you set up the foot stretcher, the way you make sure that it's set for you, you're going to sit at the finish. Bring the hands right back to the body, and basically you want the, the thumbs to brush the shirt at the finish. If you're way back here and you've got too much room, you can undo the wing nuts and move the foot stretcher towards the stern. If you're cramped and you don't have enough room, you can move the foot stretcher a little bit further back to give you more room. If you want to work on the height, then what you've got to do is if you set the blades square in the water, let them float there nice and balanced. And again, you want to be basically right in there at the low rib. If your hands are way up here, your rig too high, you're going to want to take some of the washers off the, off the bottom, put them up top. If you're way down here and you don't have room to clear, then you're going to want to raise the height a little bit, take the washers, put them underneath and then you're ready to run.